Hey everyone, we were going to graph our f of x. This is this uh, video involves this number four here, and I already did these three on different videos. And we're going to find the equation of the secant line from negative two to one for our f of x. So if we get started here, just recall that um, this curve on the graph is right here. The average rate of change. Uh, of this curve here is this secant line. So it's the slope. Um, so what we need to know, we are going from, this is going from some x to another x here. Our x's are negative 2 and 1. So we want to know what the secant line is, and we need to find the y value. So we're just going to plug in f of negative 2, this is kind of what we're doing right here. Um, you plug that in, you get negative 2 squared minus 2 times negative 2. So negative 2 squared is 4 plus 4 equals 8. So that equals 8. Now let's plug in 1. So 1 is just going to be 1 squared is 1 minus 2 equals negative 1. So we have our two points, point 1 and point 2, and we just can use that equation now, our slope formula, to get negative 1 minus 8, uh, divided by 1 minus a negative 2. So that's negative 9 divided by 3 is negative 3. Now to find the equation of the secant line, we just write y equals mx plus b. So we write y equals negative 3x plus b and plug in one of these points. I'll plug in point 2. So I get negative 1 equals negative 3 plus b. You add the 3 to both sides, so you get 2 equals b. So your equation of your secant line is y equals negative 3x plus 2. You just plug in this 2 back into this equation here. Now, you're going to graph this and uh, I need to remember I have negative 2, 8, and 1 to negative 1. Uh, looking at this, my y-intercept and x-intercept is 0, 0. I'm also going to factor this, set, find uh, all my intercepts. So I get x equals 0, which we already have right here. And then we also have x equals 2. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and also plot these two points. Negative 2 maps to 8. So this is negative 2. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8 right there. And 1 maps to negative 1. All right. So there it is. And we got a big jump in here. So let's go up to here and go up to 8. Here as well. So going to sketch this as best I can on here. That looks about right, I think. Let me see. Yeah. All right. Maybe it should be over one. I think this should be over one. Let's see. We got two, one, two. Yeah. So this should be um, two. This should be up to eight right here. Sorry. So we'll get a little wider in here. But nevertheless... What we want is what's going on between this point, the average rate of change from here to here. What's the average rate of change of that curve right there? And all you do is connect them. And when you connect them, and I believe our equation was negative 3x plus 2. Means the y intercept was 2. 1, 2. That helps us graph it a little bit. And so, um, actually, we're going from here to here. Sorry about that. I didn't do that right. So we're connecting these three dots. And that's, the, that's your uh, secant line, which is negative 3, the average rate of change. Then the equation of the secant line. You just can extend this line out a bit 
and that gives you the whole equation there. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.